Hey y'all, I don't know if this is a, if you can see me while the sun's kind of shining weird. Anyways, we left the house about 20 minutes ago. Um, we are headed to, anyways, we're going to Wilcox, Arizona. We're going to Lifestyles Resort. Alright, so, alright, so we are still driving. We're still kind of on back roads. I thought at one, some point we were going to get on the freeway, but I don't know. I don't have my GPS on because I'm following Aiden and it's kind of hard for him to lose me in the endeavor, so I don't have to know where I am right now. If I get into trouble, I can put on my GPS and figure it out. Um, but, oh, oh, oh no. Oh, one of the girls just farted. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. Oh, I think that was mocha. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back. I got myself together. We've been driving down the road. Next thing that happens is I see a bunch of birds fly in front of the Endeavor. And the next thing I know is all I see is feathers coming at me. So, unfortunately, I assume he hit uh, quite a large bird. I imagine... I don't know if it hit the window of the Endeavor, where it hit, but it definitely um, hit. Just like I said, all you could see from the Endeavor back was feathers. Okay, so, all right, so we just did our first little stop break. I went to the Endeavor, went wee wee, and uh, I think we're in Elfrida, Arizona right now. It's just kind of a um, back street, looks like farmer town. Pretty neat little place though, yes, Elfrida. So, um, Aiden says we are now 48 minutes away from our destination, so I'm gonna put down the camera. See you. I hate when the Endeavor does that. Did you guys just see that? It just sways. Hey everybody, so sorry we didn't pick you up back up when we got to um, the resort here. We got really busy. We did. We, we did. did. Then we started having fun and, and uh, forgot to pick the camera back up. But it's the next morning. We are had a great night. Had a really great night. Um, we'll train goes by every 30 minutes. Yeah, the train does go by every 20 to 30 minutes. But it's okay. We got used to it really quick and you can't really hear it inside that no. much anyways uh but we'll take you for a tour later but for right now we are going to go to apple annie's apple okay right next to that is apple annie's so i looked this place up we've been looking forward to coming here for like two weeks so hopefully you're not disappointed go inside and see what we can see. Hey, Mr. Aiden. something to buy here.
don't have like a uh, keychain or anything like that, do you? No. All right, so that was awesome. It was kind of cool in kind there. Kind of cool. Oh, it smells so good in there. We got a couple pies and some ice cream for later. Um, now we got to go find some breakfast. Oh, God, need breakfast. We're, we're hoping they have, like, apple fritters or something, but they don't. It's just, just the, pies, the apple pies, fudge, and, and the like, gift shop. apple bread. And apple bread. So, yeah, we'll let you know how it is later. So, what's left that's on my plate is going to have to be wasted because I can't eat anymore. Alright, so, as promised, we're going to take you on a little tour of this place. One thing I'll tell you, the, the actual RV park part of it is kind of small. The lots are kind of small, but really the amenities is what you want to come here for, I think. The people are really sweet. So. And this is... Lifestyles RV Resort in Wilcox, Arizona. Nice little sitting cheese room. Oh, we have a massage chair. Minute. There we go now. This is a nice little sitting room, TV room. They even have a massage chair here. Showers are here. Sorry it got dark on us. There we go. Here's the really nice gym. And of course they have water alcohol spray and hand sanitizer and sell towels to wipe down the machines after you use them. Then you walk in here and you've got your pool which is heated. Alright, so this is the best area of all for us. Cool, nice. It's not too warm, but it's still heated. I think. I think the pool's heated to about 84 degrees. The spa, awesome. Also, we even used the steam room. We were actually the first ones to ever use the new steam room. We figured out how it works. Really nice. And the decor is really nice. It's really inviting in here. It is. It's really awesome. Here's the little dog run area. Bags in the trash here as well.
there is uh, the men's and women's showers you can get to from outside. And then there's also a full laundry room. Here's a little laundromat. It is coin wash, coin dry. And they even have large spaces, small spaces. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Anyways, so that was the tour of the park or of the resort. It's the facilities are awesome. Yeah, they're really nice, really kept up nice. The park's a little small. But... It's a little small, but you know what? It's built around the facilities, which the amenities. Are... They're awesome. It's awesome. Um, the uh, let's see. I think daily would we pay thirty five. Yeah, I think dollars. seventy something for the whole time, and that was with Good Sam's discount. So it might be a little more without the Good Sam's discount. Um, and for monthly, I think it's five hundred dollars a month plus utilities. Plus utilities. And they did say there was a way to hook up um, internet internet here. So so if you had to work from home, right. like I do, right. So there's a way to hook up internet. Right. So we're keeping track of different places where we could actually live for periods of time where he could still work. Um, but yeah, it's nice, and uh, come visit Lifestyles RV Resort and Spa in Wilcox, Wilcox Arizona. Arizona. So our next stop, we're going to be traveling tomorrow morning to Clifton, Arizona? Yeah, North we're, Clifton RV Park. We're going to be staying at North Clifton RV Park. It's right on the um, San Francisco River, so mm, might be some fishing, sightseeing, and we'll pick you back up there. And uh, we would really appreciate it if everybody would uh, give us a thumbs up if you really like this video. Follow us. Follow us. That really helps us out a lot. Leave us a comment. We'll try to comment back. Um, usually Sundays we read all our comments and try to comment on those back. Um, most Sundays we have time. We really enjoy the comments, so please keep them coming. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. So anyways, until next week, have, have a divine, divine life. life.